black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Back with another one. I uh, got a couple sausages here today. Nice little toasty sesame seed buns. A couple little toppings on top that I found in the fridge. Nothing too crazy. Um, we got the nice, rigid, plain chips with the Ruffles Ranch dip. Ruffles Ranch dip is so crucial in my opinion. Very uh, jiggly, like a nice booty, you know? So super excited to eat this. Uh, I wanna just get kinda straight to it really, to be honest. Just very, very, very hungry. Have not eaten in a, a long ass time. Let's just say that. It's been a very, very long time since I've had this fatty, gelatinous ranch. But, oh my word. Why is it so good? I rarely treat myself to it, but every time I do, I remember. Wow. It reminds me of a couple things. Definitely reminds me of like going to Christmas parties at people's houses and like my grandma and shit because they always had like ripple chips. I don't know where the focus is at on this. Over here, over here. But yeah, every time I go to like a uh, Christmas party, there's always like the ripple chips and like French onion dip, maybe the ranch one, a couple dips, delicious. So in here we have a cheese, oh no, cheese uh, sausage, toasted bun and Pickled shallots, uh, regular white onion pickles, pickled jalapenos, and uh, mustard and mayo. I seem to have no luck with getting the, you know, ultimate camera. It seems like I almost get something good and then it's a miss somehow, but oh well, whatever. The other thing that this this uh, ranch reminds me of. It was back in my like premium stoner days when I was like 17, six, yeah, 17. It was like a weekly ritual for me and my boys to like all team up um, and go see like a new movie. And uh, you know, we'd all roll to the movies, sometimes meet up in two different cars or whatever. But you all bring your weed have like a big session, hit some uh, poppers before you go into the movie. And 
get it nice and freshly baked. But um, before we went to the movies, of course, because the movies food is like hella expensive and we're young and kind of broke. We always stop off at the convenience store. to get snacks on snacks to smuggle in the movies with you. And uh, from time to time, a lot of times, I would splurge for it, very expensive. This stuff is like five bucks a jar. Back then, you know, that was a lot of money for me. But the movies was like a, you know, treat experience. So I'd always cop a jar of this and a, the same chips, the Ruffles regular, a regular to go along with it. And then like a pop, big pop or something. Cause I always loved to have something in the movies that would last me like a long time throughout the movies. So like a bag of chips with the whole thing, a whole jar of dip, I could just, hit that and I remember feeling so ridiculous it's pretty common now like you can bring anything you want into a movie but back then it was a little different but just like whipping out a full bag of chips and a full jar of dip and just going ham on it myself like I would eat a whole jar and a whole bag of chips. Like Big Bad. Per movie. It was always so funny too, like, when you get all, all baked, be funny like <clears throat> getting to the parking lot being completely normal then you get baked and just the process of like walking into the theater getting your ticket and you're like just stoned kind of like trying to be stealth about your food smuggle I lived in a pretty small city, so it's like, you're trying to avoid bumping into people that you know. Cause you kind of want to just stay solid within your crew and just be stoned and not like have to randomly talk to anybody that you like kind of know, but don't really want to talk to. I feel like that's such a stoner thing. To get all baked and then like in public be tripping about like who you might have to interact with. Like even the lady or guy or whoever like issuing your, your ticket for the movie, like even that's like a strenuous event. But man, do I ever miss those days. gone to a movie with a group of friends in 
how um, I don't know. I don't even know how long. I feel like once you become an adult, it's like some weird rule where you can like only go to movies with like a girlfriend or significant other. And like, nor just like human adults don't just like call each other and be like, hey, the, the five of you guys want to go to a movie together? But I miss just going in there with my, with the crew. and then have your movie breakdown after kind of everybody talks about their opinion and you're all burnt out by that time ready for a nap oh my god that was perfect perfect size of amount of food like just the two dogs not too much or sausages I should say not too big and then just a little bit of chips Honestly, that was like a perfect meal. Well, hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.